How did we go from this to this? Well, there it is. Welcome, guys. This is a video about the Warcraft 3 Reforged concept art. So, Lemon Sky Studios, who worked alongside Blizzard to make Warcraft 3 Reforged, the art for it, the animations, they've released some articles and uh, we're going to go over it. And these latest ones are really fascinating. So, you have the actual original concept art for how they were going to approach the models. So you can see the design of proportion from the orc body in comparison to, say, for example, an orc peasant with some references to the original models. So you can see the transitions of the different armor types to create essentially different types of orc grunts, showing off the color palette that benefits from the body, the leather and the armor. And it all gels and looks great from this point of view. This 2D artwork is fantastic. I really enjoy this. And if you want to see all of this stuff, then I will be putting a link to it in my video description below. So make sure to check out the link for all of the artwork and uh, their information. Because there is a lot to go through. You can see just such incredible detail. So uh, showing off the grunt into the Witch Doctor. And then there's the back rack design, so that's got its own sort of, uh, they're taken into team account, team colours, so I think this was maybe a stage where that information was coming through that the team colour uh, was not showing as brightly or as vividly as uh, we would like it to do, because remember that these have got to transition on the battlefield where there's hundreds of other units to distinguish them amongst, so this was all very important information, so that was something they were obviously working on and were aware of, at this point in time. Here you can see Arthas himself. This is him yielding the hammer before he turns yeah, a little bit evil. And then here's him with a really big hammer. And uh, the cloak is different colors. So it's to show the sort of like the design layouts as well as the uh, ideas of the body types, their poses. It's pretty cool, honestly. This is really worth a watch and a look through. This page here shows off, obviously, Arthas in a more evil stage. So you see the original body without hair, with hair. It gives um, them a chance to sort of understand the characteristics of the facial expressions that will be shown throughout cinematics, potentially, or how the character is going to portray themselves. It's just fascinating, really, because this this 2D stuff looks really, really good. Like, crazy good. I mean, this is a joy to look through. I mean, look, <laughs> we've got a real-life horse here as a reference on this one. It's pretty uh, taking into account every little detail, such as the uh, places, the harness for your feet, uh, shoulder pads, sort of like uh, maybe the gems that uh, fill in the armor pieces as well. So using real life references, as you can see. So the way the Lemon Sky Studios worked, oh, look at that, that's reference for Archmage Antonidas, or just generally speaking, the wizard type looking characters. A very old man, it makes sense. So the way it worked was they would work on the artwork, the animations, and try to bring those to life. But I think where the disparity is, is whilst this looks fantastic in a 2D element, when it was transitioned over to 3D, there was way too much detail put into these models. And you'd think that would be a great thing, right? But it just doesn't work in a game like an RTS. Perhaps if it was a brand new RTS with a brand new engine that could support the detail, it wouldn't be so bad. I always thought that the models, they're not my personal taste because they look a bit too re uh, gritty and realistic. If you tone that down and gave them a slightly more cartoony look, I'd be much more... In I mean, that's why I kind of like these 2D ones, because they definitely have that cartoony vibe to them, right? As opposed to the horrific sort of 3D that we ended up getting. Not to say that this looks absolutely terrible, but it just overdoes it just a little bit too much. And when you have these models on a big battlefield, it just doesn't transition too well. It just ends up looking like a mobile game when they go into 3D. But at 2D, they don't look like that mobile. They actually look very Warcraft-esque. I'd say the dragons are more of a departure, though. 
because they're quite different to the original dragons that we have known. But even then, from a 2D perspective, it keeps the uh, essence alive. So here's Illidan, and of course his proportions in comparison to a grunt. He's slightly more lean, taller, but still ridiculously built. Has a bigger package as well, apparently. So without hair, with hair, it's just really cool. You know when you buy like... Um, uh, a game or you used to back then you used to buy a game you used to get like a a manual that you could look through and it would have pictures and artwork and that kind of stuff it reminds me of the old school days like the shadow hunter here you got the snake bracelet the mask the weapon they obviously put a lot of effort in it was just the transition period from 2d to 3d that just obviously did not work i love how lots of this looks and it just seems such a shame that it all fell apart because like i say when you go into the 3d element the old engine for warcraft 3 i just don't think can support it this is apparent as it can be because when you've got like five fps when you're playing with reforged yeah it probably can't optimize very well so if they were to bring out a brand new game perhaps you could get away with the more 3d looking iterations that they have but this 2d artwork is just really 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 cool this is a blast to look for it, honestly. I mean, everything is taken into account. The models just look great. I love how they approached it as well. Every little piece of armor, every weapon, it, it's all taken into account. So it's just, it's so bittersweet looking over this. It really is, you know? But I urge you to sort of check out the link to see for yourselves. Because the 2D artwork is just fantastic look this is almost like um a character from a uh, uh beauty and the beast this might be a slightly too much of a departure from the warcraft universe but a lot of the other um 2d pieces uh, remind me of course of warcraft itself i'm not a big fan of the uh, mortar team i think they look a bit too grizzled and horrific in comparison to their originals pit lord looks really badass and it goes on and on like there is some great stuff here. There's some showings of what led towards the more realistic style and different approach. And unfortunately, that's how we get to this point. How do we go from this to that? I just don't know. Like, it just does not blend. Like, it gets this horrible sort of grey, realistic, rubbery texture that's makes the characters all look like they're about 50 years older than they are. So, what a shame, honestly. But I do urge you guys to check this out, because they clearly had the idea of looking at who the characters were in the original game, how they are in like World of Warcraft, as well as other Warcraft iterations such as Hearthstone, and they bring those character elements cohesively to create what they have here. So when it goes into 3D mode, it just looks way too over the top and cluttered. Like, if it's on its own, maybe, but amongst a whole bunch of units, oh my goodness, it just does not gel. So they've got lots of pictures, it's too many for me to go through, but it kind of gives you an idea as to just looking at that 2D artwork in comparison to the 3D. Like, Arthur's just looks way too old here just doesn't quite work like there's just so much armor and so much gear from a 2d aspect fantastic but when you look at all this can you honestly identify every little piece that's on there you can sort of see it but it kind of blends into itself i mean sylvanas is looking better here in comparison to the iteration we get in game so even here the model's right i'm not that big a fan of them but they look better than the ones that we actually get in game because the ones that we get in game look even sort of more broken down and sort of scruffy in comparison to the more cleaner looking 3D models that you can clear. Look at the vivid colors of this pink. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, but in game, it just does not show that way. Such a shame, such a shame. So yeah, there's a lot to look through. And if you're interested, you can see the animations themselves as well for the characters. So that gives you some insight as to how they were sort of trying to give the characters personality and uh, charisma for each and every single type of hero or unit. It's just, it didn't seem to come through. And I think 
the score for Reforge generally tends to reflect that. Clearly a lot of effort was put in, but the result was just unfortunately this. So, let me know what you guys think after having a look at all this. I think it's fascinating to go through. I love the 2D page. Definitely concentrate on the 2D stuff. You're going to have a blast looking for all of this and just absorbing it all. Fantastic. Look at that detail. But at the same time, on a 2D scale, it just works. But in 3D, nah. -uh. Thanks again. Make sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. I will be streaming um, shortly tomorrow. Probably quite a lot because Shadowlands is releasing. So if you're interested in watching any World of Warcraft Shadowlands, then I will be streaming that from a monk point of view, leveling up my monk, because I think it's the most interesting complex character to level up from a melee aspect. So I look forward to seeing you there at twitch.tv slash witty. If not, then stay tuned for plenty more Warcraft free that is always going to be hitting the YouTube channel, at least one to two videos a day. Take care. All the best.